Today I want to talk about sciatic treatment in Bangalore. A lot of people in Bangalore have come to us in the Whitefield Clinic and, and asked about treatment for sciatic pain or sciatica. The reason it's called sciatica is because it involves the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is a nerve that runs from the low back, usually around the level of L, L4, L5 in the low back. And it goes down like that. It comes through the pelvis and it goes down the back of the leg. Now, if you're having pain either in the buttocks or the back of the leg, back of the knee, on the way down to the, to the ankle or the, uh, the foot, then you know you have sciatic pain. It's very painful for a lot of people. If you have the sciatic pain right now, you know what I'm talking about. The question I get quite often is, can chiropractic uh, treat sciatic pain? And the answer is simply yes. Uh, we treat sciatic pain all the time. We treat low back pain all the time. So this is uh, something that chiropractic does very well. We use a special table called the Cox table to treat what are called disc problems. A disc problem is a problem in the spine. Intervertebral disc is something between the vertebra, uh, say L4, L5, Right here, that's the L4 disc. This would be the L5 disc. In other words, the disc is defined as the disc which is below the, the particular vertebra. If this is L4, this would be the L4 disc. Now that disc relates to what is called the L4 nerve root, which comes out of there, and it combines with this other nerve root in the L5 to create the sciatic nerve, which goes down through the pelvis and down the back of the leg. So, if we're treating sciatica, we're going to be treating either L4, L5, or both. But also as a chiropractor, I also look at the balance of the pelvis. In other words, how is the pelvis balanced? Is it biomechanically level such that it will take the pressure off of these low back segments? I'm not treating just sciatic pain. I'm treating also the balance of the spine, the balance of the pelvis, how the spine is balanced. This is what chiropractic does. We take the pressure off the, the spinal nerves by treating the spine itself. And the spine itself is very subject to forces of gravity, is subject to forces that we do in our everyday life, such as sitting, standing, walking, exercising, bending, and so forth. And all of these play a part in that. So how do we treat sciatic pain? Well, very simply, the easiest way to treat sciatic pain is to create a distraction. In other words, we pull these vertebrae apart just a little bit to take the pressure off of these spinal nerves that are exiting the spinal cord at that particular level. So when we treat sciatic pain, we're taking the, the pressure off the nerve roots, we're creating a distraction, we're creating relief for those particular nerves which are pinched, and therefore you feel less pain. So come with me and I'll show you exactly how we treat sciatic pain. Okay, now this is a, this is something called a Cox table. Uh, it's several sections to it. One of them is involved in, uh, one is involved in flexion. In other words, if a person is lying face down with their nose right in here, what we do is we lie them face down, their waist is right about here, and what we do is we take their legs and we strap them in, and I'm going to do a demonstration of this shortly. We strap them in so that the legs are being pulled. When the legs are being pulled, there's also a handle that I use to guide the process so that I can put my hand on the back of the person and I can do what is called a distraction move. A distraction move is something that takes the pressure off the low back, takes the pressure off the sciatic nerve, and allows the person to achieve a great deal of relief. Usually when this happens, the person feels better getting off the table. Now, there are several factors involved with sciatica. That's one of them. Now, the other part is that depending on the leg that the sciatic pain is on, some people have pain on the left side, some people have pain on the right leg. So depending on how the disc is herniated, and this is what we call a herniation of the disc, uh, that's the side in which we rotate the table. Now this table also rotates. In other words, I can rotate to the left, I can rotate to the right, 
And when a person is on the table, what I'll be doing is rotating right or left to determine what type of herniation this person has. Sometimes the herniation can happen on the side of the pain. Sometimes it happens on the opposite side of the pain. And depending on the type of herniation the person has, that relates to the types of muscle pulls and, and nerve pulling and things like that, as well as the disc, whether the disc is compressed, in which case we do the decompression, or the disc has muscle involvement, which can also tighten when we do certain sides. So there's a lot that goes into sciatic treatment. So if you want sciatic treatment in Bangalore, the best way to do is come to Dr. Spine. We're over here in Whitefield, but we also have an office in Broniger. Uh, and let us treat the sciatic pain for you. We can take the pressure off the sciatic nerve and give you a great deal of relief. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Now we have a patient here. Uh, he has low back pain, and we're going to be treating for sciatica. So what we do is we put the uh, what is called a TENS unit, transcutaneous nerve stimulator, on on the area of the pain. In other words, we usually put some gel on that, stick them on the low back area where the pain is, and that's usually where the nerve roots are located on the back. Uh, then we take that over there like that, and then what we do is depending on the type of pain. If it's a fresh injury, we'll put ice on there. If it's a, a very chronic injury, it's been there a while, then we can put heat. And so uh, right now we're putting on the heat packs. So I'll show you, we have hot and cold packs, which can be either ice or, or heat. Uh, and to get the hot pack, what we do is we put it in the microwave, heat it up, and then put it in a layer of towel, which we then place on the patient. Once this is done, uh, we can begin. So the next step is to turn up the transcutaneous nerve stimulator machine or TENS unit to the point to where the patient feels a sensation. After that, uh, they're all set. Then we go into the distraction phase where I will stand and I will do the distraction on the patient where I'll be stretching the low back out. As you, as you can see, I'm strapping the feet in, strapping the legs in. Uh, I'm putting the handle in and then I'm doing the little distraction move there to create relief or to bring about relief in the low back. Once we stretch that out a little bit, the person should immediately begin feeling relief. If they don't feel relief, then I do it right or left, I find out where the relief is coming from and give them more relief. If they feel pain, then I take it away from the pain area and bring it towards the side of relief. Once I do this a number of times, I will lock it into place, leave the patient that position along with the heat or cold therapy, leave them for about 10 or 15 minutes, come back and check on them, and usually that's done by then. I'll do a few more stretches and then I will let the table up, I will take the bar out, I will take the strap off of their feet, take the uh, ice or heat packs off of them, remove the TENS unit, and they're free to get off the table. Once they get off the table, they walk, and then I see how, uh, how they feel. If they feel better, we know that the, the condition has been relieved and that the sciatic pain has been removed or alleviated. So if you have sciatic pain, and you're in Bangalore, come see us at Dr. Spine in Whitefield.